Hey everyone, we're Brian and Tracy, and this is part one in a 12-part discipleship series that we call The Pursuit. We believe that those who make a genuine commitment to pursue God will find Him. If you're new to Pursue God, we want to make sure you know what to expect. Over the next 12 weeks, we are excited for you to unpack these topics in your small group or with a mentor. Each topic has a short video, we provide you with questions, and we really want you to unpack all of that information in the context of a conversation in that small group or with your mentor. In this first lesson, we're going to warm up by sharing five Bible verses that talk about pursuing God. And here's the first one. It comes from Psalm chapter 139, verse 16. The psalmist writes, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. This verse is telling us that before we even thought about pursuing God, he was already pursuing us. Now, I don't know if that freaks you out a little bit to hear a statement like that, but it's actually good news because the next verse actually says that every thought that God has about us is good. God wants good things for us. He doesn't want to judge us. There is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and returns to God than over the 99 others who are righteous and haven't strayed away. You know, if you're out there and you're thinking, I don't know if God really wants a relationship with me. Do you know my story? Do you know some of the choices that I've made? And this verse, these are Jesus's words to you saying, God does not just want the people that maybe have made some better choices in life. He is interested in everyone, especially those of us that have strayed. He will leave the 99 to go after the one. So I want you to be encouraged by that. No matter your story, no matter the journey, Jesus wants a relationship with you. That's what this verse is about. John 3, 16, it says, For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. This famous Bible verse perfectly summarizes God's motivation and his method for saving us. He's motivated by love. You're going to see that throughout this series. And his method is Jesus. The whole Bible, your whole pursuit of God is centered on Jesus. And if that's a new thought to you, then you're going to learn a lot about Jesus over these next 12 weeks. In John 10, 10, Jesus said it this way, the thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy, but my purpose is to give people a rich and satisfying life. This is what Jesus is saying. It's not just about your spiritual side, the part of you that shows up to church on Sunday morning. Jesus wants to make an impact. He wants to transform every part of who we are, which includes our emotions, our thoughts, and even our relationships. If we want to have a rich and satisfying life in Jesus, then we need to give all of us to him so he can impact every part of who we are. And God told us how to do that through the prophet Jeremiah. He said, if you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. This verse tells us that God is not playing hide and seek with us. He wants to be found by us and he's revealed himself in the Bible. That's why throughout this entire series, you're going to hear a lot about the Bible. You're not just going to hear my opinion or Tracy's opinion or someone else's perspective. You're going to hear what God himself says through his word. So we want you to have this picture in mind. This is what we call at Pursue God a full circle follower of Jesus. And over the next 12 weeks, you're going to get a bigger understanding of what it means to trust Jesus, to honor God with your life, and then to go and make disciples yourself. Yeah, this is actually the roadmap for the next 12 weeks for us as we go through the pursuit. In these first few lessons, we're going to give you an introduction to God and to the Bible. And then in lessons four, five, and six, we're going to talk about that first arrow, trusting Jesus. This will be especially helpful for those of you who have never put your faith in Christ before. And then in lessons seven, eight, and nine, we're going to talk about honoring God as a Christian and what that looks like in today's world. And then in topics 10, 11, and 12, we're going to finish up by talking about that last arrow and how Jesus wants all of us to go out and make disciples, which is really what PursueGod.org and all of our resources online are all about. And that ends this particular topic. So now it's your turn to use those questions, have a conversation in your small group or with your mentor, and unpack the important truths we discovered today from God's word.
and then come back every week as you continue to talk about what it means to pursue God.